Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. Now today what we're going to be doing is wrapping the bales from yesterday, they were the grass bales, and I'm hoping to do this in the wrap which has been chosen, which is actually pink wrap, that is the chosen colour from the previous video in the vote. So, well, the majority said pink, so we're going to do pink. That's the way it works. <laughs> that was the whole point in doing the vote. So, yeah, everything's going to be wrapped and then it needs to just ferment, which shouldn't take too long. And then, yeah, we'll go and take it over to the sell point and make a fortune. It doesn't matter what the price is, today is the day I'm going to sell it, because I can't really wait. This is the penultimate episode, so tomorrow, or maybe Monday, is going to be, uh, yeah, the final episode ever on Felsbrunn. Except for multiplayer, potentially. I might do a, a Felsbrunn multiplayer at some point over the next two years. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's definitely the end of the single-player series. So, here is the store. What I need to do is drop off the trailer and, of course, buy the bell wrapper. It is £59,000, I think. It's 50-something. Uh, so, if I go into baling technology, it's 54. So, yes, yeah, so that's close enough. Four colour, pink, doesn't cost any extra. Uh, so, yeah, we've got uh, 69 bales to do. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to lease it because I do need it on the next map as well. Um, because, yeah, I know the next map is going to be quite livestock based. Uh, and for those who are guessing which map it is, it's uh, actually not Marwell Manor Farm. Uh, although I'd love to do that in the future. So hopefully this tractor has the power to be able to run up and down the field doing all the wrapping. I think I might take the front loader off just because it's, uh, well, it's not actually not causing any problem at all, but yeah. Um, there's not really much point in taking it around, so there we go. Of course in real life it would be a much harder job to remove it than just to uh, press Q on the keyboard. Anyway, yep, this is going to be a fairly repetitive job. Uh, about 69 bales. It does take quite a while to wrap each bale, but I can move between each one, so that does speed things up slightly, um, although the process of wrapping 69 bales still has to happen. There's a few bits of grass here. I must have missed these. Anyway, yes. There we go. It begins. The wrapping process. Definitely going to be best as a time-lapse, I will do. Uh, and then we just need to auto stack these and take them over to the sell point. It is just the usual place, I think. Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference because it's silage. Uh, of course, I will be checking this just in case. I don't want to miss out on any potential money. Extra money. Silage is this one here. Yep, yeah, there's only one place. The barn, and actually, the price is really good. 515. I think it was four something yesterday. So that's good to see. I start over this side of the field and then just work across. It's the logical thing to do. But there you go. Everybody who voted for pink bales, there we go. Looking good. I think uh, pink bales in real life are for breast cancer awareness. So yeah, there we go. We'll say that and um, it can be the same in our case. We are supporting breast cancer awareness or in fact any cancer. The uh, research cancer awareness research is very important of course uh, whatever the cancer is so yeah I'm going to continue and um, I don't know how long it's going to take but it probably won't be too long as a time lapse it will be very bearable it will probably be like two seconds to wrap each bale maybe even one second we'll see so I'll see you in a minute
Okay, so the form is finished. I do have a straw bale, which is the first one I ever did. So I don't think I'll be able to wrap that. It wouldn't even turn to silage. It would just be like super dry straw, I suppose. I don't know. But I wouldn't have thought it would let me, so yeah, might as well just leave it and sell it as it is, as a straw bale. Uh, so yeah, just a few left to go. We've got um, two, four, six, eight, possibly eight. Can't really see down the bottom there, but yeah, almost finished. Loads of pink bales, looking good. So I'll continue, and um, yeah, then every time to grab the auto stacker. I do need some speed with the auto stacker, so it's going to be a case of using the Massey Ferguson or the John Deere. Since this tractor can only do 26 miles per hour, the other two can do 32. So um, it's a bit of extra speed, but it does make all the difference. Right, I've got six bales left in front of me, and then I think we're done. The final bale. Although I am quite intrigued to try out the straw bale just to see exactly what it does, I think it'll just go straight over it. It won't even attempt to pick it up. Come on, bale. Unless it is a recognised thing, would you ever wrap a straw bale? I wouldn't have thought you would do. Um, but there's so many different reasons for things. Like, I don't know, maybe it's to keep the straw damp for growing mould for mushrooms? Or do we, do mushrooms grow in mould? I don't know. Uh, just trying to think of some crazy ideas here, but I, I really don't know. Bale is not supported. No surprise there. Okay, so it's all uh, being folded up now. I can take it back over to the yard. I'll grab the John Deere. And then the immense task of moving all of these to the barn is going to begin. The good thing is, I think the square bale also like can actually carry 16 bales at a time, which is obviously quite impressive. Uh, and I only have 69 bales in total, so it shouldn't really be that many loads. And if I was a good mathematician, I could tell you exactly how many loads that would be. All I have to do is a very quick calculation, but yeah, I'd need a calculator for it. Uh, so essentially, 69 divided by 16. 4.3. Uh, so that would be 5 loads, because obviously the 0.3 won't be able to squeeze into the 4th load, obviously. Uh, so when, there it is, over there. And for some reason, <laughs> I've just had some strange issue where my degrees of rotation has changed from 200 degrees to 900, and I have to take, uh, well, several turns just to straighten the wheel. So this could get noisy because I have to keep turning the wheel so much. I have it set to 900 degrees for Euro Truck Simulator 2, which I was playing last night, actually. Very enjoyable. I was on the Calais to Jewisburg Road, and, uh, well, as usual, it was absolute chaos, but it's always quite amusing. It means I can have more precise steering. At least I think this thing can uh, carry 16 bells. I'm assuming it can. I think it can. Wow, that was crazy. A bit of horrific driving from me there. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to continue and then head over to the barn. And I think we're all going to be quite surprised about how much money is about to come in. Because these are 4,000 litres each. And, well, assuming it has actually fermented straight away, uh, I should be getting over £500 per 1,000 litres. So it's essentially over £2,000 a bale. Yeah, it's 16. I've already got 11 on, so it has to be. Which is a good number. Only 5 loads to do. But if you want to be more precise, 4.3 loads. I'm going to have to change my degrees of rotation. This is ridiculous. It probably doesn't look too bad in the video, but it is quite painful to do this. So, uh, yeah, it needs to be decreased. Probably not as low as 200. That's a bit of an exaggeration, maybe 360. So, I've got space for two more on this load. I'll go for the one over near the road. There we go. And yeah, I think the bells do ferment straight away, because it was always FS17 seasons where it took time for them to ferment. I don't think it would do it in a base game. That's interesting as well. I actually ploughed this field and extended the borders. And I've actually sold the field, and as you can see, the farmer isn't making use of uh, the area which I extended, it's just recognising where the original boundary was to the field. Very wasteful and very unintelligent. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be hopefully a very impressive figure about to come in. I can't even 
begin to imagine what it would be, um, but I would imagine it is very close to 30,000 if I was going to imagine. Uh, 32,987, I was not too far off there. Very good and very impressive. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, go back over to the field and probably just time lapse the rest of it. It's always the, the most fun way, uh, although it, it does mean it's been, been two very large time lapses in this video. And yeah, I seriously do need to change my degrees of rotation because I can't even control the tractor. See you in a minute. Okay, so this is load number four out of five. The fifth load, as I've already explained, is only a partial load, be about a third full. Uh, but yeah, it's gone really well. Thirty-two thousand pounds per load, except for the second load, which obviously had the straw bale in, which reduced it by a thousand or two. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, everything has gone super well. The straw bale was a bonus. Uh, please, for some reason, the wrapped bales, if you clip them with a wheel. It's sort of somersault into the air, but with a normal bale, they don't do that. That's weird. <laughs> I've got the speed set to real time for that exact reason. I must have crop growth set to fast. So, yep, yeah, I am almost finished, and the next episode is going to basically feature the loading up of the essential equipment and getting it all ready. Uh, so, queuing it up in the yard, ready to leave for the next farm and also the selling of the animals because they're not coming with me. I'm going to be buying some more at the next farm and I'm hoping the next farm is actually going to have some cows and some pigs because I haven't really had, well I haven't had them at all. So it would be a very good idea to get some. Okay so I've got space for two more on here which is going to leave in the region of four or five. Ah, uh, Bouncy bales, very bouncy. Perfect, yep, so another £32,000 worth of bales on board, ready to be sold. Let's head over there. It's something I'd do again. It hasn't really cost too much money to do it, especially as next time I won't have to buy the machinery again. Uh, it does take some time, but yeah, overall it's like, what, 40 minutes to do the wrapping? Uh, if you've got two tractors on the go, maybe 20 minutes to do the mowing? And yeah, not too long at all to do the bailing and the rowing. So it's good money. It's very good pay. I think it's, it must be about £100,000 we're going to make. So yeah, couldn't argue with that. And because the price is what we're getting, um, it proves that these have fermented. They do ferment straight away. 32,987. Back for the last third of an auto stacker. For those of you who are interested about what the next map is going to be, I'm sure most of you who are watching are interested, uh, I'm going to be annoying and not tell you. I'm going to wait until I do the first video on it. My plan is to do a first look video um, because I do have a version of the map, but it isn't actually finished. It almost is, so it's going to look pretty much perfect. Um, but yes, the map just needs a few finishing touches, and I don't have the final version yet, but I'm hoping that by the time that I've published episode 65 of Felsbrunn, and I've done The Weekend, which is going to be the survival roleplay, and some multiplayer. Yeah, by then it might be finished. I'm not saying it is, because I'm obviously not the person making the map, and I'm not going to put pressure on them to make it, because obviously most modders, I think, just do it in their free time uh, for a bit of fun. And uh, yeah, obviously, you can't, you can't force people to do stuff uh, just for you. Uh, but yeah, as soon as it is ready, I will absolutely love to play it as a Let's Play. So yeah. Basically, I'm really looking forward to it, and I also should not have done that. That is tipping over. No. Let's get to the sell point fast. 
so yeah, unless I was to do the let's play on the almost finished version, which I don't think the author would want me to do, uh, yeah, it, it might be it might be next week. The first video will be next week, but as for the let's play, it only might be. We will see. Fingers crossed. We'll hope for the best. Anyway, here we go. Last load. Let's go and put it into the cell point, and I can very safely say that that has just produced ten thousand. 308 pounds, leaving my total now at 344,000. Once again, I've forgotten to look and see exactly what we were on before I started. Um, but if you don't take into account the expenses of the mower and the bell wrapper, that was, um, yeah, an incredible profit. Very good. So if I was to do that again, the profit would be huge, absolutely massive. So, yep, there we go. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a video of time lapses and it's taken up a fair chunk of the video, uh, but that is just the way I do those kind of things because otherwise, it just it's quite painful. It's really painful to watch. So yeah, there we go. See you again soon for the final episode of Felsbrunn. Bye for now.